<laughs> You'll see. So now the next thing we're going to do is, um, as part of your homework that we didn't get an opportunity to go over, is determining the truth of a statement. All right. So the next step is let's go ahead and determine. Okay. Now, when we did this last class period, I assigned a little letter, right? I assigned a letter. Does anybody remember what letter I assigned to the hypothesis? P. So we assigned. P the hypothesis, and then I assigned another one for the conclusion, Q. which was Q. Okay. So now, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do is, if I wanted to determine the truth of the statement, what I want to do is I just want to kind of go off of a couple, a couple scenarios that would be possible. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of write. So remember, a conditional statement is if P, then Q, right? That's what a conditional statement right, represents. If the hypothesis, then the conclusion, okay? Conditional statement would write in P, then Q format. So what if we say P, then Q? say I ride a roller coaster. That is true. And then let's say I get sick. That is true. Okay? So, if my statement is if I ride a roller coaster and I will get I, then I will get sick. If I ride a roller coaster and I get sick, yes, question. Is that statement true? Yes, that makes sense, right? So if the hypothesis is true and the conclusion is true, then you guys can write in that my truth of that statement is true. Now let's do the next one. What if I write, huh? It's not true? Okay, what about if my, what about if my hypothesis is true? I ride a roller coaster. However, it, let's say my, my Q, my conclusion, is false. Let's say I ride a roller coaster and I do not get sick. Then is my conditional statement true or false? False. False, right? So therefore, the truth of the statement is false. Well, the hypothesis is true, but the conclusion is false. And if the conclusion is false, that means your statement is going to be false. All right? Now, let's go and take a look at what about if P is false? So let's say I do not ride a roller coaster. Now, let's say I do not ride a roller coaster and I get sick. Is my statement true or false? False. 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 Well, it's a problem though because my statement says if I ride a roller coaster. But I didn't ride a roller coaster. So it's impossible for my statement to be false based on my premise of not, not being there. Right? I said my, I, did not, I have to ride a roller coaster for me to get sick. I didn't even ride a roller coaster. So I cannot say that this statement is false because I never did what I, what I had to. I never had to get on the, um, the roller coaster. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, as long as my, if my premise or my hypothesis is false, I am going to have a statement is going to be true because I haven't countered, I haven't um, defined what actually my statement. And then the same thing, if my premise or my hypothesis is false, 
and my hypothesis or my conclusion is false, guess what? My statement is still true. All right? The only time you guys are when we're going to have a false statement is when we can be able to provide a counterexample. As long as if my hypothesis is true and then I go against that with my conclusion, that's the only time we're going to have a false statement. Okay? Cool? No? Yeah, questions? Questions? You write that down? You have to keep it, right?